So from the loop of Henle, the filtrate goes into the distal convoluted tubule or DCT. The cells of the DCT absorb mainly sodium, chloride, bicarb, and calcium ions, and it also secretes potassium and protons. So not super critical for you to memorize all of those. Just know that there's some absorption going on, especially there's more sodium being reabsorbed, and then there's secretion of protons and potassium. So the DCT is special because it's one of the parts of the nephron that actually respond to aldosterone. So aldosterone, recall, it's this hormone that helps with sodium reabsorption, and it also helps with water reabsorption because often when sodium is reabsorbed, water is reabsorbed, it also causes excretion of potassium. And then ADH is also able to act on the DCT, which helps with water reabsorption as well. So we see the DCT right here after the filtrate has come out of the loop of Henle, it goes into this other portion where the tube is kind of convoluted and it's mainly responsible for uh, secreting a few things and absorbing different ions to help maintain blood pH and electrolyte balance. So these cells are not as active as those of the PCT, uh, which requires a ton of energy because they're reabsorbing so many things, but they also pump ions against their concentration gradient, and so they also require energy and therefore have a large concentration of mitochondria. Not as much as the PCT, but they also have a lot of mitochondria to produce all that ATP that's required to um, really pump things against their concentration gradients. So that's it for this lesson on the DCT, uh, short and sweet, but just keep in mind that this section of the nephron responds to those two hormones and that it's able to reabsorb more electrolytes and secrete potassium and protons.